Welcome to Agent 355's Let's Play thread. This is Lily, and I'm going to be doing a victory run for Brogue. And with me tonight is Seven Deadly Sins. Hey, yo! What up? Yeah. Uh, I think Agent just kind of like gave up on the game after he wasn't able to record a victory run. So it's just like, let's go ahead and do this because I've been playing a bunch of Brogue recently. There's the there's kind of the weeklies. If you're if you're a fan of Rogue, the Rogue forum actually has like weekly tournaments where they give you a seed so everyone plays the same game, and you get some like utterly ridiculous games. Like the most recent one, you got an incredibly insane amount of uh, about amount of staves. So you got like two lightning staves and a firebolt and discord and uh, entrancement. I think. Yeah. Just like no. right off the bat. It, it was, was like hilarious. an entrancement four stave too. So it's just like this is ridiculous. Yeah, it was entrancement four, uh, firebolt two, and two lightning threes. Yeah. And when you start the game with that, suddenly the game seems a bit less scary. Just 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 a little bit. Yeah. No. It was and, actually... and then and then they uh, and then they bend you over the table. So. Uh... <laughs> So before before everyone's like, well, this is the way that I want to win. No, I think like six people died to the exact same trap. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, I was actually reading the uh, thread on the Brogue forums and like everyone died right around like 17 or 19, something in that range. I was just like, that's just painful. And that's only the people that got past like six. <laughs> five. No, five was the like, the, the five poison the traps. Souls. That poison trap was disgusting. It's especially it dropping. I think down, the worst like... part of that poison trap was the fact that you had to, that the door to that poison trap was actually inside the trap. Yeah, I the that trap was really bad for a lot of reasons. Like whenever you fell through uh, the pit trap, the next it dropped you door, right in front of an arrow. Yeah, it was an arrow trap and like two pink jellies. So the only reason. Uh, I even survived that part was because I just I abused the Discord staff they gave you early on. Oh, I uh, I did that too. And additionally, you had a lot of hallways where you could just line up and blast mm -hmm. with because lightning down a hallway is the destroyer of jellies. Oh yeah, no, it's wonderful. Um, I, I I actually ended up um, managing to ascend on that run too, but I don't think. I don't think any of the like really good players out there have posted yet, because like I didn't see CyberMG or anyone like that. And yeah, well, Cyber always runs on Sundays. Yeah, he's uh, I don't know. He's got some ridiculous runs though. I've, uh, I was just watching some of his recordings. Whenever uh, he'll post them in the Rogue Like Mega thread, and uh -huh. uh, he's a really good player, and I'm always surprised whenever I see him just do something really clever. Nope. Plate armor. Early plate armor is always nice. Yeah. Now, um... Even though it, like, it's crushing your poor, poor back. I I normally throw the armor on early just because I'm like, uh, I want to know what its enchantment is. Because I actually found it on the first floor in a vault, and I, uh, I drank a potion of detect magic on accident whenever I was just qualified eating stuff. Yeah. And, it was positive, so I was like, well, just gonna enchant this forever, so. Yeah, that sounds about right. You find a, a decent enchantment on plate armor, and it's like, this is now how I will survive the game. Yeah. Besides, early on, uh, the difference between two and three armor isn't huge. Yeah. Early so on, like, you, you can stand to, especially if you find some, uh, some strength early, which you appear to have. Yeah, now, the... This is, Run was actually pretty generous early on and had like two strength potions in the first two floors and the plate armor and a staff of lightning so i was just yeah, like i guess this is I'm... a winning combination yeah i i really like uh staff of lightning builds just because the uh, staff of lightning is ludicrously good yeah like the only things that ever bother me whenever i'm going this route are golems and Golems really just aren't that scary because they just don't do much damage. Yeah. So, like even even when I'm playing a wizard build or whatever, I can generally win in melee with them just with like a war axe or whatever. That and golems don't heal, so you can you can play hit and run. Yeah. It's like well, 
I guess I'll run away now and use my staff of blinking or whatever. Yeah. I kind of... Broke is interesting because it's... It's... Like, there are some... Gumarel, I would say, is a very... Uh, it's a very simple roguelike. Like, there's not especially a lot of... Uh, there's not especially a lot going on in it that you really need to know. Like, there's not a lot of spoilers that you need to win. Yeah. There are spoilers that are helpful, but not really spoilers that you need to win, and there aren't a lot of newbie traps or anything. Oh yeah. my gosh, Early Ogre. Yeah, I... That is really nice. I love Early Ogres. The only, the only problem with them is they take forever to heal, so... Yeah, and, and yours happens to be especially, uh, especially injured. Yeah. But yeah, so, like, you have Dumaro, which is pretty simple, <laughs> and, uh, then you have something like Crawl, which is about as, uh, is kind of complex as it gets without being insane. Yeah, it's, it's one and of the, then, like, bigger roguelikes, yeah. but it's not, it's not really one of the roguelikes that punishes you, uh, for not knowing everything. Yeah, kind of like... I mean, definitely it helps, because, like, there are some cases that kind of... Uh, rip Ogre. No, I don't think he... I can't remember if he dies here. He definitely dies. Yay, actually. he's alive! But... I, was, I was worried for our Ogre buddy. Yeah. But nah, so it's... It's kind of like knowing things clearly helps, <laughs> but uh, it's not like, oh, I didn't know that, so... I will die immediately. Yeah. And furthermore, it's one of those things where you can kind of survive and do well simply by being smart. Just like... Or or rather, if when you die, it's usually your fault. Yeah. It's not so much you can survive by being smart, you can survive by being a coward. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, some would say that the two kind of overlap. Uh, just a little bit. Just a touch. But then there's like, there's a lot of like old school roguelikes like NetHack that are just like, well, instant death mechanics sound like a good idea. Let's let's make it so you pick up this cockatrice and then you die. Yeah. So that, that's Oh just, my gosh, plus three plate mail. Oh. And there's my first Skype notification. Oh my goodness. I forgot to turn off Skype notifications before I started this and it's okay. I just kind of played it the whole way through, so... Those well, the upside is up. that it's they're kind of out of the way. Yeah, there's nothing going on important down there, so... Yeah. Whatever. So, plus three plate mail. Yeah, I think I've thrown two enchantment scrolls on it. I think it started as plus one. Yeah, well... But still. I, I may have missed one. it. What did it... Uh, is it just the plus one, or does it have a runic on it? Uh, I don't think it has a runic, now. Oh. If it did ever have a runic, I never discovered it. So, um, yeah. But still. Probably not. Honestly, like, plate mail just by itself is already ridiculous, even without an enchantment. It's definitely one of those uh, items that will almost always throw enchantment scrolls on. But... Oh, absolutely. It's, it's Good armor will always do good things for you. Yeah, there's never, there's never a bad build to have good armor. So. Yeah. And I mean, it's always nice to have some fancy, uh, some fancy runic armor, but you can't really argue with. Oh, hey, we got some super late mail. Yeah, pretty much. Can't I, argue. I, I, one time, whenever I was like fairly new at Brogue, I found something like plate mail of absorption, and I didn't understand. Like, at the time, that plate mail was just ridiculously good, and if you have it, throw your enchantment scrolls at it. Um, and, so, and you saw the high strength requirement, and we're like, nope! Yeah, it was just like, I can't use this, it's like, it requires 19 strength, how am I ever gonna get that much? And <laughs> I just, like, I left it on, like, floor whatever, four or five, and never went back for it. I wish, I, I, wish I knew what seat that was, just because it was so ridiculous. Yeah, you can... <laughs> Actually, that's one thing I really like about uh, about Brogue is the custom seeds, because mm -hmm. that's just such a cool mechanic that allowing it's like for example for our uh, for our, the 
well not our but for the weeklies Mm -hmm. just the ability to say okay let's see how everyone does given the exact same dungeon layout and enemies to fight yeah it's it's one of the things i actually kind of uh i like about brogue um because it's there are some roguelikes like uh dungeon crawl where the floors aren't generated until you actually enter them Uh so with stuff like um the lich guy who comes back morris yeah yeah he uh i don't think he can exist in multiple copies um so like if you see him on swamp and you don't kill him he won't spawn on another floor yeah that's actually it's it's a common thing to enter the hall of blades in vaults because but not actually do anything there because you don't actually want to go in because the experience sucks and it will probably just abyss you and kill you or you'll get like murdered by a plus three triple sword of distortion yeah but it has a nasty habit of containing either boris or menace and menace has killed me an unfortunate number of times menace Menace is uh, is certainly a person that lives up to his name. Yeah. He uh, he will just utterly destroy you, but he tends to spawn in Hollow Blades, so what you want to do is go in and have Hollow Blades load, mm-hmm. so that if Boris or Menace shows up there, you can just leave them and they'll never be... he'll never be a problem. Yeah. Now, I... And, uh, uh, yeah. When I was first getting into Crawl, I read the wiki, like the whatever, SourceForge wiki or whatever, yeah. and... It, it said something like, oh, you should go to the Hall of Blades and explore it because you, like, have a good chance of finding a good weapon. And No, you, you will never find, like, on no characters have I ever gone into Hall of Blades and gone, oh, well, that weapon's kind of neat. I'll think I'll use it. More often than not, it's like, hey, that's a trident of distortion. Uh, welcome to the Abyss. Yeah. Or it's like, hey, that's uh, something of speed and you'll cry about it and yeah, then end up dead. <laughs> Yeah, or you come across like, oh, hey, that's a that's an executioner's axe. Oh goodness. Oh, oh, that's my corpse. Oh goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That being said, um, once I found out that it was a terrible trap, I've like never explored Hall of Blades since. Um, I I go in there every once in a while when I like forget that Hall of Blades is a terrible <laughs> idea, and then I'm quickly reminded. Yeah. I, I go into Hall of Blades whenever I, whenever I don't feel like ta- tackling the abyss would be a terrible thing. Yeah, no. Because going into Hall of Blades is the best way to get randomly abyssed. It's next to fighting Psyche or Sonya. I've uh, I actually, I haven't gone into the abyss since the abyss changes. Um, I haven't been on a crawl kick recently. Oh, it still sucks. Well. I've, I've just heard, like, I still read the crawl thread, and I hear oh. people constantly bitching about the abyss. I'm just like, I don't remember it being this bad. I just remember it being boring. Oh, but... No, it's it's boring until you get one of those abysses, like, uh, did you see recently in the crawl thread, Akat's Abyss? I... Where he, he got abyssed, he, he had this really good merfolk artificer of Fedhas going on. And he's like, well, this is going pretty well. I think I'll go do vaults. And he gets hit by a white with a great mace of distortion and gets abyssed. <laughs> and then when he's in the... And that sucked, but he's like... He's he's level 22, so he can take the abyss. Yeah. The abyss is not a huge problem. I mean, it's not great for Fedhas because nothing... Because he basically does nothing in the abyss. But eh, you can handle it. But then he he's going on, and then he rounds a corner, and there's a lich. And he's like, well, I can deal with a lich. And then behind him is a pit fiend. And then <laughs> behind that pit fiend is two brimstone fiends. That's, that's just and cruel. So he starts, he, he reads a teleport scroll and almost dies, and starts drinking potions and drinking potions and drinking potions. And then his teleport scroll pops off, and he teleports literally... 10 squares to the left 
Oh, uh, yeah, no, I actually remember reading about this post now. He, he took a he took a screenshot, and the best part is that his teleport uh, location where he landed was a corner. So, <laughs> the, and the only way to run out was to run into these pit fiends and brimstone fiends. And it was just like, if ever there was a moment that Crawl said, yeah, fuck you too, <laughs> that was it. Yeah. Um, now, I uh, sent pizza tricks, but this actually, I, I was watching the video, and I realized, I remember how my ogre ally died. Um, I, re I was uh, read IDing my scrolls, and I found a scroll of fear, and yeah. if you fear any of your allies, they become hostile, so oh. I, I actually killed Broger. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. You are the worst. It's you. The worst. worst. But yeah. I like, I actually like how, uh, ooh, this is a cool, uh, the Stone Guardian, uh, with the Flood Trap, uh, room. Yeah, people had, like, no idea how to do this one. And, I... uh, because it popped up in the, oh, and please tell me, oh my god, why? <laughs> I did Why? You had the freaking, the very first vault you had was the, you can activate pressure plates by throwing a dart on them. No, that. no, I know. I don't know why, but just, there's a total disconnect here. Like, I have played this enough to know that pressure plates can be activated by darts, but every time I get this full, oh, acid, I man. step on it. Uh, okay. I, I like that it gives you a... Uh, I wish Crawl did that. I wish Crawl said, really attack the jelly with your really good weapon? That is one of the things that I really appreciate, because I'm just like... There are plenty of times where I'll just be tapping the key or whatever. And oh, un runic. This was one of the decisions I wasn't sure about because I gave up a scroll of blinking or a staff of blinking, and uh -huh. I don't have blinking yet. It's one of those things that I generally really want. Um, but that plus three uh, runic sword. Is this it, you killing the broger? Uh, no, this is a oh. different ogre. Different ogre. Yeah, poor broger. He didn't have to die. Oh, nice. Sort of slowing. Yeah. Slowing is one of those uh, runics that's just ridiculously nice to have. So, Especially I... early on with a sword that you have enough strength to wield. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Yeah. Um, I, I don't remember if I actually end up enchanting the sword a bunch, because like a nicely enchanted uh, slowing weapon can just be ridiculous. Like, But you already have a broadsword. Yeah, I think I actually just end up ditching the broadsword eventually, because I'm like, I I end up enchanting my staff of lightning a bunch, because oh. lightning is ridiculous and oh, yeah, it's so good. mandatory, and I already a have a lot of plus nice staves right now, conjuration, I, and uh, man, you and your staves that are really good. Got the funny thing is, I kind of... Now I kind of want to go back to that uh, the Brogue Weekly Seed and see what the staves are in that uh, in the Poison Gas room. Because there's the door key, which gives you two scrolls of enchantment, and that's really nice, but there's also two unidentified staves. And the only reason that I never, like, zap identify those staves is because I'm too busy hope because I want to get in and out as soon as possible so that the Poison Gas doesn't have enough time to spread and I always forget to set it on fire. Uh, they actually, um, they've made it now so staves will just auto-identify when you pick them up in vaults, so you don't actually oh. have to zap them anymore, so. That's nice. I yeah. still didn't pick them up. Yeah. I think it was, uh, what are you doing? staff. Why are you in the water? Uh, I went into the water because I wasn't sure if, uh, the bog monster, I, it was almost dead, and I wanted it dead forever. Totally dead, yeah. Um, but I forgot that when you're in deep water, staves of lightning don't work for whatever yeah. reason. So probably because you're in water. Look, at least it's not crawl where you would have horribly electrocute yourself. <laughs> yeah. Look, I just I want to electrocute myself. I thought it was a good idea at the time, so you know. <laughs> oh man, I thought it was a good idea at the time is the uh, is the best last words. <laughs> Famous yeah. last word for like, like for example, I thought that firing the staff of Firebolt over some dead grass was a totally great idea, and then I burned to death. 
Yeah. That's actually how I died. In the movie. I just haven't posted about it. Good job. Oh my god, it sucks so bad. I, I was like, oh, look, a toad. I don't like toads, so I'm going to hit it with my staff of fire. But why am I on fire? <laughs> oh god, I'm on fire and the burning is everywhere. And I, I was on one of those things where, like, the... It was it was lava instead of water, and I'm like, this doesn't help at all. <laughs> uh, I, think, um, I think someone else actually died in that exact same way, except they shot a spider in the spider web and ended up lighting themselves on fire, and they couldn't get out of the fire because the web was keeping them stuck. Meanwhile, uh, Rogue is getting pretty exciting with your hallucination. I actually start panicking that one of these is an acid mound or something. So, despite like being in a relatively safe position, I just start swinging wildly. Uh, You're not in a Morax mood or a broadsword mood. Sure. Yeah, this is the part where I just decide I need inventory space more than any better weapons. Besides, you have a 3 plus 3 sort of slowing, and the thing that's really nice about that is that you can whack something and then walk away and kite it. Yeah, with a ring of wisdom and my staff of lightning, I was just like, if I get in a bad spot, I'll just slow something and run away. No big deal. So how'd you get hallucinated again? Did you fight a toad? Uh, I actually think I drank a potion. I was just yeah. IDing more potions and I got hallucinated. God, I hate potions of hallucination. The, the worst part is they don't identify if you throw them at someone. So it's... They don't even do anything useful when you throw them at someone. I don't actually think they do anything at all. They just, like, the enemies just aren't affected by them. They're literally the, the only useless item in the game. I think I think it would be actually cool if, uh, when you threw a potion of hallucination at someone, it uh, made them discorded. That would be very smart, but unfortunately I don't think it will happen. Yeah, it probably won't, but it's like of the things that they could possibly do with it it makes like the most sense to me yeah that's true I, earlier i liked when you were hallucinating it was like the goblin warlord splits in two <laughs> look oh god wait a minute the goblin warlord can't split. do that the phoenix splits in two <laughs> i uh i actually just recently uh got a phoenix eye like anytime i've ever gotten one of those legendary allies it's always been a unicorn or whatever else the other thing is um uh, the yeah. yeah um and it was i like i just ended up uh dancing back and forth with enemies um like i'd let it turn into an egg in a hallway and then i just switch places with it it was, oh, that's, that's it was like a really, really effective meat shield because I had like a ring of regeneration and uh, a decent weapon, and we'd just swap. I'd heal up, swap. It was pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Yeah. I love. Have you uh, have you ever fought phoenixes in crawl? Uh. There you actually, you will almost never fight them ever. The only place you can really find them. Oh my gosh, wall of text. Yeah, I was uh. I don't actually remember what I was checking for. I think I had an ally, and I thought he was dead, so I was oh. checking for a sense uh, of loss or whatever. Brother of Broger. Pretty much. So, uh, but yeah, Phoenixes and Crawl, you'll probably never find them unless you go get the holy level of Pandemonium, or you go into a Ziggurat, because they're a really, like, incredibly rare holy, uh... How'd you know that was awareness? Uh, I found the uh pit but i wasn't even close to it oh yeah that makes sense i was i discovered it from like four or five squares out and i was like that's almost definitely awareness yeah that's gotta be yeah so but anyway phoenixes and crawl uh it's funny seeing people like someone almost died in uh in holy pan because they simply didn't know how to deal with them <laughs> it, because of course in crawl Crawl is the story of an adventurer who enters a dungeon and, d and eats it. <laughs> um, and, uh, and so when you kill a phoenix, you ha it will regenerate. It will revive in ten turns unless you butcher its corpse. Yeah, no, actually... But he didn't know that, so, like, he was like, How do I kill this thing? <laughs> oh, God. That was uh, terrible. I, but, uh, um... 
the last time I entered a ziggurat was a while ago. Um, I thought astronauts. I think, um, do you remember when octopods, uh, not when they were new, but they were being, like, tested out on an alternate trunk server with lava orcs? I don't remember that. I, I would have liked to, to know about lava orcs. Yeah, they were interesting and completely and utterly fucking weird. <laughs> um, I like weird. Weird is good. Yeah, no. I don't. I don't complain about weird, but uh, I I was playing an octopod uh, transmuter and I ended up uh, 15 runing with it. Um, nice. When I was worshiping Che, like I oh Octobro of Che was totally legit. Oh yeah, no, like by uh, by the time I was clearing Pan uh, in statue form, I had something like 50 plus in all of my defenses, and uh-huh. just like I was pretty much invulnerable outside of like. Uh, Hellfire and even Torment. Torment was at like half damage because of Statue. So oh yeah, Statue form and three pips of, pips of RN will take it down to something like 17% instead of 50, so you're pretty golden there. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I ended up uh, going into a ziggurat and I found a holy level and just it like completely tore me apart. Like, yeah, just holy every- levels are horrifying. It's really it really is like if they're not sitting there wailing on you with ridiculous weapons of holy wrath then they're smiting you down a thousand angels at a time yeah it's it's really quite scary yeah um and the funny thing is that as scary as it is it's not even like the most lethal it's only like number three on zig levels that you never want to see deep (laughs) it's the, what's fun is when you uh, is when you go, get a holy pan level or not holy pan uh, when you get a holy zig level as a uh, worshiper of the shining one uh, because oh. what ends up happening is that about two thirds of the angels will become neutral to you friendly neutral but a third will go you are not yet worthy mortal and what ensues is like the angelic civil war <laughs> Because half of them will fight you, and the other half will defend you, and thus fight them. Yeah. And so, it, it, meanwhile, you just kind of sneak around them, take all the treasure, and leave. Uh, You're like, my, I'll be going now. My most embarrassing death uh, in Crawl was, I was playing, uh, I think, a Merfolk Scald. And I was in, uh, I was in a Ziggurat, and like, on floor like 23 or something... Um, I get an abyss level, and uh, there's like a single angel in there, and I don't see it. Um, oh shit! And like I'm just I'm going through the levels and just tornadoing everything because it's that good. And you like throw up defensive buffs, you but the link whole, in, but the and then you tornado. Uh, friendly. Um, so I hit this angel and I get put under penance, and I don't notice it. And instead of being like a smart person and just waiting for the like over time for the penance to go away i continue doing the ziggurat um and i clear the next floor no problem i clear the next floor no problem 26 it's a holy level tornado <laughs> doesn't help you when everything smites you because they'll just stand at the edge of the tornado and smite you to death yeah. and it was just it was the most embarrassing death I've ever had because I was worshipping the Shining One and I should have been able to clear it easily, but... Yeah. Nope, I'm an idiot. <laughs> yep. Oh, my my most embarrassing crawl death? My 100% most embarrassing crawl death? I've been trying out a centaur hunter of throwing, mm-hmm. which is kind of interesting because most of the time everyone goes, oh, centaurs, those are bow users. But they actually have the same throwing apt as they do bow apt. Yeah. Freaking zombies. You vomit profusely. You vomit profusely. Your ogre vomits profusely. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> <It's> disgusting. <laughs> this game is disgusting. Pretty but, uh, so you end up, uh, two, two rings of wisdom. Nice. Yeah. Now, I, it, if I wasn't already going to go a staff build, I basically have no reason not to at this point. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But so, most embarrassing crawl death. Centaur Hunter of Throwing, which is nice because it means that you have access... One, you have access to Javelins of Penetration, which are 
insanely useful. Mm -hmm. Like, in the late game, where you tend to have, every once in a while, like, a single enemy that's kind of scary, but really frail, and in the back of a pack of people. <laughs> like, later on, when you're fighting bog arts, or uh, liches when you get the lich really low HP, or stuff like that, mm -hmm. being able to target everything in a line as a physical character is a huge deal. Oh yeah, definitely. And, uh, so I I got my Okawaru, and actually I got an Okawaru on Dungeon 2. And I got a Centaur Barding on Dungeon 3. Okay. And I found a Longsword on Dungeon 4. And I wanted to go Longblades. Uh, and I had found six Javelins to, to bring my Javelin count up to 12 on Dungeon 5. Mm -hmm. And so I was zipping along pretty well. And uh, I had just gotten my Ok... I was on Dungeon 10, and I had just gotten my Okawaru uh, piety up enough that he started gifting me ammo. Yeah. So we, we were I was in the sweet spot. I was in the there's no excuse to die or to anything early right now. Uh... So I decided that it's a good I it's a good time for me to start read IDing my scrolls. Because scrolls are usually pretty safe to read ID. The worst thing that's gonna happen to you is immolation. Mm -hmm. Which, while not super hot, is not a huge big deal. Um it, it can kind of be annoying, but it's more Well, annoying is really all it is. Yeah. yeah. Uh because it hurts a little bit and it pulls things to your location, but mostly you just have to walk away and uh, or be ready to fight things at half time. That's fine. Uh, so I read ID and I did find Scroll of Immolation. The problem was that it was what I read right before. I had read a Scroll of Random Uselessness, and one of the effects of Scroll of Random Uselessness is to cast oh, some no. other parts. So. I read this scroll of immolation, and around me are twelve allied butterflies. Okawaru. Oh, Every on, single butterflies. one of which gets utterly incinerated immediately by this burst of flame. And so then I look down, and it's like Your trespasses are not forgotten, mortal! I now have so much Okwaru penance that it is literally worse than if I had just deserted him on the spot. <laughs> I've, I've oh. gotten something like 60 points of penance. So, at that point I did the only sane thing to do, which was trudge back to the ecumenical temple and start worshipping Trog. Yeah. But, uh, so I'm in Lair, and I'm, I'm going through Lair. And uh, then Okawaru was like, hey, I didn't forget that you're a shithead. And summoned three titans. 